All right, everyone. So we reported on the bombshell report this morning that Christoph Porzingis would be in for game one, or it was expected to be in, but basically it was a reported as, you know, it's gonna he's going to be in. And now Christoph has finally spoken out. Here's what he had to say. Uh, how you doing, guys? Um, <laughs> um, good question. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, have a couple more days. And um, done a lot of work up until this point. And, and yeah, done everything needed to get back into shape, playing shape. We'll see you on the night. So are you planning on being there for game one? Uh, that is the plan So right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, it's a couple more days, and, and I think that can make a difference. So every every day gives me a bit more time to get even better, you know, so working. Yeah. You know, I think there's a lot of good stuff here in terms of you could just tell that Porzingis is just different in Boston. I mean, he his demeanor, everything about him just seems to be way better than, you know, we really have seen from him throughout his career. And, you know, it's not that he hasn't been, you know, like a, a good guy or anything like that. But he, from at least from a distance, I just didn't see this side of him when he was on the Knicks or when he was on the Mavs or when he was with the Wizards. You know, this never really saw this side of him. We're seeing a lot of that in Boston now, and he seems to be very happy, and he he is such a key for this finals matchup, because he is, you know, when he's on, he's on, and he takes so much pressure off of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, you know, with that scoring load, you, you have three guys minimum, right, because you could add in, you know, Drew and Derek White, but you have three guys minimum that could score 30 any night, and having that will be, it's just going to make life miserable for the Mavericks, right? They've been playing better defensively. They've given a lot of effort defensively. But they are going to have to really, really lock in on this Celtics team if they want to win. And Porzingis, him being healthy, even if he's not 110%, he doesn't really need to be 110%. He just needs to be able to hit those jumpers and protect the rim, and I think he'll be able to do that. So here's hoping that, uh, you know, he's fully healthy. But he you heard it right from his mouth, right, that he expects to play. But it is important that you, you can see from his tone that he doesn't want to put too much out there yet. You know, he doesn't want to be saying, yeah, I'm definitely in, I'm definitely in, and then he has to pull himself out. So thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.